Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett again with Southern, Southern Adornments Decor. Can't even talk this afternoon. And um, I help you discover your painting talents and beautify your home. And this whole week, I've been going live every single day to talk to you guys about my Painters Clubhouse group. And now I need your help. So I'm hoping, ho I'm hoping a lot of you guys will hop on here and help me. Um, if for some reason you didn't get notified that I was going live and you would like to be notified, you can send me a private message to my Southern Adornments page and just type the words live alert and it will respond by asking you if you want to be notified when Tamara goes live. Hey Heather, hey Samantha, and then you just reply to that message with yes or whatever and it will enroll you to get live alerts. Hey Susan, hey Sarah, hey Stephanie. Okay, so we've got several creative minds in here. Hey Marilyn. So, okay, as you all know, I've started the Painters Clubhouse group and so many of you are in the group, so I need your help. I am going to be creating kind of like, um, how do I word this? It's called a success path. That's where my crappy little poster board over here is, which is technically a shipping box. You see how classy we are? We're using the back side as like a poster board because I needed somewhere big to write so you guys could see my notes. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Shanna or Shana. Sorry, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Hey, Brittany. Um, so what I need to know is, is like what I'm wanting to teach you in the Painters Clubhouse is how to take you from where you're at to where you want to be, right? So as a painter, where, what is your goal? What do, where do you want to be? Like if I put this on a timeline, starting over here, which is where you're at or where most people start at, that would probably be like beginner, right? Beginner level. So we're gonna brainstorm together. So if we're going all the way over here, this would probably be like, I, I don't wanna say expert level, but you know, maybe instead of expert level, we could put confident painter because you're confident and you're proud of your work. So instead of expert, because even as myself, I have a hard time using the word expert when I talk about what I do. Because you never really, I mean, unless maybe you've got a big ego, you never really get to the point where you feel like an expert, right? But I do feel confident. Hi, Nancy. So I feel like maybe this is where we're all headed. We're all headed to being confident. I'm gonna get the whole poster board in here. It's kind of wide. Hey, Lisa but we're all starting out as beginners. I was a beginner about three years ago, and so I'm trying to get you too confident. So what I need help with, hey Candy, is these places in between, right? We need like some steps, like stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, right? So what I need help with is what to fill in in the middle. How can I help you become a confident painter? Hey Randy, you wanna be able to make professional looking door hangers to sell next to hosting paint parties. Okay, so maybe underneath con confident would be um, selling them because if you're confident, you're interested in selling them and doing paint parties. So I'm gonna write that down. Not everybody may want to do this part of uh, the job. You may just want to do it for your own enjoyment. But if you're confident, it's gonna lead you to doing those two things, right? Okay, Sherry says writing. Did I miss one? Color choices and highlight. Thank you, Lisa. So somewhere in the middle here, I'm just gonna write like this. Um, color choices, uh, writing. I'm gonna put hand lettering because I think that's what most people call it, hand lettering. What else? Fine details, okay. That would kind of, maybe fine details would encompass like highlights and outlining. I wish I had an easel or something to prop this up on because I know it's probably hard for you guys to see. Uh, shading, bow making, that's good. Shading, bow making. Teresa says doing live videos. I would think that would fall over here, don't you, Teresa? Like underneath selling. So live video. If you're teaching other people, then you're confident. I'm gonna put that in a bubble kind of over here because it's getting in the way. Choosing the right bow for your hanger, yes. How do you know when enough is enough and not to overdo the design? So when you feel like enough is enough, okay. What do you do when you mess up using the jigsaw? Okay, correcting mistakes. Okay. 
jigsawing, and I'm going to say jigsawing is probably a little bit more in between this stage and this stage, because that's something you kind of have to know from the beginning to really, really start doing this. Creating door hanger ideas. Okay, so maybe coming up with your own ideas. Um, I'm just going to put coming up with ideas. And so I'm going to probably figure out categories for where to put these things under different stages. Like some of these obviously are going to come before others, you know. So, um, you know, jigsawing definitely comes before learning to hand letter, I would think, you know. Lisa says pricing. I would think that would be somewhere between here and here. So I'm going to still write it down here, but I'll figure out placement for where to put it on the list. Um, hang on, I missed one. Oh, go back up. Courtney says, my first step was studying the art, watching lots of videos, even before attempting. Yes, and I feel like a lot of you guys have already done that because you keep up with all of my videos. Uh, Heather says, narrowing down the time it takes to complete them. That would probably just come naturally. I don't think that's necessarily something to teach, though, because as you get better at this and more confident, that will automatically come with it. Diane says, marketing. Marketing probably falls underneath more like my business group. I'm not really going to be teaching you all in this group how to run a business or how to sell these as a business. That's underneath a completely different heading. But I want to get you from here to where you feel comfortable enough to join that group. Does that make sense? So people up till this point are still learning to paint. And then once they get to this point, that may they may want to start looking into joining my business group. So the marketing would probably be after this timeline somewhere. Time management, yes, that would be part, part of the business group as well. Um, sizing seems to be a big problem. Okay, so sizing. Okay, what brushes to use. My goal is, is that I create a clear timeline with these things underneath each part of the timeline so that later, when, like now, like after I get the timeline completely created, I will be able to say, okay, everybody look at this and tell me which stage you feel like you fall under. And you can like comment below or whatever where you feel like you fall. Don't do that right now. But when I get this made up, you can do that. And so then after you comment, like in three months, we can revisit and I can say, okay, here it is again. Do you feel like you've moved to a different stage or are you still where you're at? And so, you know, this will help you know if you're progressing and it'll help me know if you're progressing. Anita, a lot of people have trouble with putting a base coat on too heavy. Okay, well, I kind of did a little video in the Painters Clubhouse about doing a smooth base coat. I didn't talk about how heavy to put it, but... um that will be something we can cover. India says, how to choose paint colors in simple everyday designs. Okay. Um, and then Nancy said, Cricut stencils. I'm going to write stencils down here. Does anybody else have any more suggestions? I know that's hard to read from your all's perspective. So let me see if I can get a little closer for you. My handwriting is atrocious, by the way. <laughs> But this is what we got so far, and I got to figure out where these things go between here and here. You know, some of them are more advanced than others, so I will be putting those on a timeline for you guys. Melissa says, can I buy a color wheel at Michael's Hobby Lobby, etc.? Would that help with color choices? I feel like it would. Um, I will be posting some things in the group about color wheels that will kind of help you, because if you remember the stuff you were taught, like in elementary school about complementary colors and secondary colors and all that stuff. That all applies to door hangers and painting and art. So um, that might be helpful for you. Sherry says, what to do when you use colors that look like they're going to take 10 coats? <laughs> yes, those are things we'll be teaching as well. Um, I forgot to even turn my little chat bot on here for anybody interested. If you're interested in the Painters Clubhouse and you haven't joined yet, um, the sign-up is from now still until Monday, April 9th. So that gives you, what, three more days after today? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yes, three days. So um, don't wait until the last minute because I don't... I, I, I really would be sad if anybody started messaging me saying, I missed the deadline. Is it too late to get in? Because, yes, you know, we have to have a deadline. Otherwise, you know, things would get out of control. Charita says, stencils for the painting part of it. Yes, I actually have already recorded a stencil tutorial for you all, and I'm going to be putting it in the group probably next week. 
So um, look forward to that. Patricia says, I'm glad I am a cosmetologist. Knowing the color wheel is helpful. Yes, it is. It would be really helpful for you, Patricia. Um, so if anybody's interested in the Painters Clubhouse, you can comment me in the comments and it will send you a direct message in Facebook so that you can go over and sign up. And guess what? We are at 294 members. 200 was my goal and now we are only six away from 300. So I'm blown away. And I just realized I don't have a lick of makeup on. I apologize. I have my permanently tattooed eyeliner on, but that's all I've got on. So you guys are getting the fresh me today. You have the worst memory after five babies. You need something in front of you. <laughs> I totally get it. Mom brain is a real thing. I tell you, it's real. Um, if you're having any questions about Painters Clubhouse, please comment them below or send me a direct message. It's $27 a month. And I will warn you, it is going to go up to $37 a month in July. But if you're already in it, your price will not change. It will only be $37 for new people, new members coming in in July. So if you want to lock in that $27 price now, you need to sign up now. And you'll be grandfathered in at that price and it won't go up. You also have the option of joining yearly for $297. And that gives you one month for free. So um, if you don't, if you feel like you're just now joining me live and you haven't uh, heard about this before, feel free to go back and watch all the other live videos that I have recorded this past week because I've talked about it a lot. I've answered a lot of questions and I've just um, really just been trying to get the word out there because I don't want anybody to be left behind that um, maybe just didn't hear about it. Because, you know, Facebook doesn't show my videos to everybody. So when you guys share these videos, it really just boosts the amount of people that are able to see these because um, Facebook sometimes only shows them to like maybe less than 10% of your audience. And I have like 12,000 followers. So if only 10% is seeing it, there's only like 1,200 people actually getting these things in their newsfeed. So when you guys share, that's great, really great help. All right, can you guys think of anything else that should be on our success path? Um, I feel like instead of, I mean, it does need to focus on skills like choosing the right brushes and stencils and, um, you know, colors and all of that stuff. But I feel like, oh, uh, it the business group, it will open back up in July. So I will be making announcements about that toward the end of June. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It opens in June. So I will be making announcements about that toward the end of May. Um, I don't, it's probably not going to open on June 1st because we're going to be in Florida on June 1st on vacation. So it will probably open up right after we get back sometime around the middle of June because I've also got to go to Toronto, Canada, June the 14th through the 18th. So it will open sometime in the middle of June. I've got to make time for it for sure because I know there are a lot of you who have been waiting on pins and needles for that group to open back up. Yes, Glenella, I saw you opened up, or you joined this past, this this morning. I can't talk. I love your name, by the way, Glenella. My grandmother's name was Norella, and so it reminds me of that. And it's kind of funny because my grandmother's brother's name was Glenn. So it's almost like a combination of my great uncle and my grandmother's name, Glenella. That's kind of cool. Um, anyways. You love the business group, Patricia. Yes, it is awesome. Now, the business group, it's going to work completely different. I'll kind of give you, like, I'm not going to tell you all about it because I wanted this to be about the Painters Clubhouse, but it will be, like, a series of, like, right now, I think we've got nine videos in there, but I'm going to be gonna be adding some more. So, it'll probably be about 12 videos, to like, instructional videos about how to start, like, a Facebook page, choose a business name, how to organize your paint party supplies, how to run a paint party, how to price things, um... I'm also going to be doing a uh, a video on how to start your own paint party business online, like a virtual paint party, because somebody's been asking for that. So I'm going to be having at least 12 videos probably, and you'll go through them kind of like a course. You'll be able to watch them at your leisure, and you'll also be put over in a group. And now the group won't cost anything extra. It's just included with buying the course. And so the group is just kind of like a little community where you can share ideas and ask questions. And I usually go live once a week in the group for the first four weeks after we reopen it so that I can answer any questions anybody in the group has. So that's just a little tidbit on the biz group, but that's not opening again until June. But for the Painters Clubhouse, this is just helping people become more confident painters. So like I was saying, oh, your dad's name's Glenn. That's cool. Um, all of these things right here that I'm teaching you, those are like skill sets. But the importance isn't necessarily that you 
become a better hand letterer by somebody else's um, measuring stick, right? Because art is kind of suggest sub subjective, subjective. And so while somebody might think you're not as good at hand lettering as person B, it doesn't matter what they think. It matters what you think about your own self. Because if you don't think you're good at hand lettering, you're probably not going to keep doing it. You're probably not going to be confident enough to sell your stuff. So my focus is going to be teaching you those things, but making you feel confident in what you're learning and making you feel like you're becoming better at this. So I want to work on your confidence behind all of those things. Because the confidence is key. If you're confident at it, you're going to do it more often and you're going to become better at it and you're going to step outside your comfort zone more. Mary says, how much will that be? The biz group. The biz group. Blah, 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 the business group. Um, I haven't priced it for sure, but I'm I'm thinking probably 297 That will probably be what it, what it is. And that's not like a monthly fee or anything. That's just a one-time cost. Tiffany says, that's what I'm looking forward to. Awesome. Good. Uh, well... I don't really have a lot to talk to you guys about today, but um, I just wanted to kind of get your all's input on my success path because I'm going to kind of draw it up and, and uh, make it like a chart so you guys can look at it and figure out where on the path you're at. And um, that way we can move you forward because I want you to become, I want you to go from beginner to confident. Not necessarily expert, but confident. I want you to feel confident in what you're able to do. Thank you, Patricia. You're so sweet. Um... We're having a birthday party tonight. Charlie is three today. It's funny because every day this week she has been, um, we'll say, you know, your party's on Friday. And of course, a two-year-old, well, now she's three, doesn't have any idea about time. And so when we say that her party is on Friday, she really thinks that that's now. And she gets all excited. And so then we're like, sorry, yeah, it's not till Friday. Yes, Janet, it's a trolls party. So we've got trolls cupcakes. We've got trolls popcorn. Um... She's going to be wearing a Trolls t-shirt and a tutu and a little headband with the Trolls hair. So I'm going to be taking pictures. I'll post them later for you guys to see. And I'll probably put a few of them on Instagram too. Yes, happy birthday, Charlie. But today when she woke up, I said, guess what? Today's your birthday. And she just looked at me like, what else is new? You've been telling me this all week. Because <laughs> she's confused. She doesn't realize today is actually the day. So I told her, I said, well, tonight we're going to Mr. Getty's for a birthday party. It's a pizza place, if in case you've never heard of it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a little party. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yes, we love trolls. And I've got a t I've got that t-shirt I'm going to wear that says, um, I've got that sunshine in my pocket and that good soul in my feet. That song really just, uh, it's my jam. So, all right, well, I'm going to hop off here and go finish making some trolls popcorn and putting it in little bags. Cause that's what our, um, our party favor gifts are. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you haven't joined Painter Club, Painter's Clubhouse yet, don't forget, you've only got three days left to do it. So send me a message if you have any questions. I'll see you guys later. Bye.